In this video, we're gonna look at three different lipless crankbaits at three different prices to find out which one is worth it. So here's what we're gonna look at. We're gonna look at the action, the price, the components, and then the paint. And we're gonna give that an, a rating to find out which one we think is the best. And then you guys can decide. Do you want the lower one, the middle one, or the high-end one? And you can tell me which one you think is the best. So lure number one is from Amazon. It has, it's called the Tiny Unicorn with an average Amazon rating of 4.7 out of five stars. You get 10 pieces for 9.99, so 99 cents each. Five pieces are 2.95 inches and weigh 0.63 ounces, and then the other five are 2.75 inches and weigh 0.56 ounces. All of them offer number six black nickel hooks that are not really good, kind of weak. Both of them have different head sizes. The 2.96 has a different head size than the 2.75. Some of them are flat and some of them come to a little bit of a curve on the top so that they go through the water a little bit better. Fun fact number one, the lipless crankbait was designed by Bignall and Schaff. I don't know if that's right, out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. It was designed in the 1900s and its first name was the Diamond Wiggler. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. It's quick and easy and it really does help me and help the channel. And hopefully this is entertaining and informative and gives you a good idea on what the difference is between a low end lure and then a higher end lure. You can make your opinion on which one you want to use and which one you want to buy. Our second lure is what I think is the OG one, a rattle trap. It's the industry standard for lipless crankbaits and probably one of the most successful baits out there. It's probably one of the most versatile baits out there. And they have all sorts of different colors and sizes throughout the rattle trap family of lures. I mean, there's it's just ridiculous how many lures there are of rattle traps at this point in time. Rattle trap uses premium mustad hooks, which is really a high quality don't have to worry about hook and that's very that's very good or very helpful when you're an angler. The weight sizes are from one eighth of an ounce all the way up to one and a half ounces. So, and they, they come with either rattles or a silent model. You can decide on which one you want. They offer all sorts of sinking and all sorts of models like that. And generally the Rattle trap is about $7.19 and up. So for the middle of the road, it's not too bad. $7.19 for one lure isn't bad, I think. Fun pack number two, the lipless crankbait is a deadly bait during the pre-spawn transition. It's also good year round and one of the most versatile baits there is out there. And our third lipless crankbait is from Nomad and it's the Swimtrex Max. It is the most expensive one of these three. Prices start about $12.99. Sometimes it can go a little bit lower. Sometimes it goes a little bit higher. They're available in nine colors and they're available in three different weights and sizes. Nomad puts great hooks on these baits. You don't need to replace them. They're top notch components. They're great sticky sharp hooks. And as you'll notice, the Nomad Swimtrex Max has probably the most action on the market it swims differently or faster and wobbles faster than all of the other lipless crankbaits out there. It's a drastic difference between the Swimtrex Max and everybody else. And in my opinion, action catches fish. The Nomad uses a BKK razor sharp sticky hook and has eight, their ABS plaster supposedly is stronger than anybody else. So I'm gonna do this a little bit backwards. Uh, it's not gonna be in the same order as I said. The Tiny Unicorn from Amazon, you get 10 pieces for $9.99. So you, the, each one of these costs 99 cents, which is amazing, because then you're not worried about losing them or doing whatever. So in terms of price, they're gonna get a solid 10 because 99 cents each is cheap. In terms of paint, the paint is good. I wouldn't say it's great. I think it's just average at best, but it's not the worst on the world. So in terms of paint, I gave them a five. The components, 
I'm not really a fan of. While they have realistic some realistic eyes and stuff, the hooks are pretty bad. The hooks, I think this one actually is already bent, or I don't even know what's going on there. But the hooks are not very good. They're black nickel, they bend easily, but they're really, really cheap. So in terms of components, I gave it a three. Now last, and what I think is the most important place to judge is the action. I'll tell you the score right now, I gave it a one. Uh, and here's why. I put these in the pool and the pool has a little bit of current and so forth. But when I go to use the neighbor's pool and they come outside to see what I'm doing or watch, see the lures and they comment that that is the worst lure that they've ever seen, which was this one, then something is wrong because they don't fish. And they could tell that this was that bad. So in terms of action, I give this a one. I'm sorry. Now, the rattle trap, which has, which you might not have noticed, has 98 colors, which is just insane. Numerous different, uh, different sizes and everything. The paint is really pretty exceptional. It's pretty good. I mean, you can't really beat the paint. So when I look at the paint on most of the rattle traps, uh, I really, I really like the paint. So I gave it a nine because I, I think there's so many colors for everybody. You just can't go wrong. In terms of the components, they use really great Mustad hooks and they're just top notch. The components and everything in this lure is just top notch. So I gave the components on this another nine. In terms of price, I don't think you can really beat, even though it isn't as good as the first one, but the first one doesn't have any action. The, you can, can't really beat these because sometimes you can find these for like $5.98 up to you know eight or nine, ten dollars I kind of went in the medium. For $7.19, getting this lure is pretty reasonable. I think when you're in the set six, seven, eight dollar range for a lure, that's really right where I'd like to see things. Now, I know it can't happen all the time because certain things cost more to make, more, make them, but in terms of the price, I gave it a nine again because I just think it has, I think $7.19 is a perfect, a perfect uh, price. Now, in terms of action, the only one I, this is the only one I don't think is gonna get the best action only because the third one has the best action of all of them. But in terms of action, I scored it a seven. And I only scored it a seven only because of the putting it against the, the Nomad one. This has exceptional action, yo-yoing it, running it straight in, different weight sizes, all of it. I really don't think you can go wrong with a rattle trap. And so I gave the action a seven. And last is the Nomad. Now for paint, I don't think you can beat it. There's several different colors. They have holographics, they're original. I think the paint on these is just as good, if not better than the rattle traps. So in terms of paint, I gave this a 10. When I look at the components, that's another one that I just think they use the right stuff. They've got everything everything is perfect on the lure so in terms of the components i gave it the same score as a rattle trap i gave it a nine and then when i look at the price the price is where this one drastically differs from the rattle trap and from the amazon this baits 12.99 um i would like to see it a little bit less money but in terms of price i gave it a seven because I mean, when you get over that $12 to $13 range and it's a little, it, people start to get a little weird about it. And especially y'all who watch this channel. I know when I do expensive, more expensive lures, you guys are always like, it's too, it's just too pricey. So I gave it a seven in terms of price, but the action, it's a, it's a hundred percent 10. This bait is faster than all of them combined. The action on this bait is the best of any lipless crankbait I've ever seen. It's fast, it has ultimate action, and it just is that good. This is an exceptional lure, and, and the action really makes up for the price. So again, the action on the Swim Trex Max is a 10. So what do you think? I would like to know which one you think is the best. Which one is worth it? Is the Amazon lure that you get 10 for uh, 10 for 9.99? Is it worth it, or is that 
rattle trap, the best bait for your money? Or do you prefer buying the high end one, the Swim Trex Max at $13 or $12.99? You tell me which one you prefer. I gave you my, my score, now I wanna hear your score in the comments below. So tell me what you think, okay? If you like these kind of videos, hit that like and subscribe button, put it in the comments and tell me. I want more, worth it. They're a little bit harder to do, but I don't mind doing the work. Don't mind doing the work if it helps y'all. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.